Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So with the new Harry Potter TV series recently announced and confirmed by all parties involved, the internet went into a bit of a frenzy on who were happy for the reboot and who were sticking with their love for the original cast. Statements of Emma is Hermione, Rupert is Ron and Daniel is Harry were making its rounds and still are with many fans in support of the irreplaceable trio. From a personal standpoint, I can understand that. I can come to terms with the we only want Daniel as Harry, nobody else can fill those shoes kind of people. Then I also understand the reality of the situation. The characters will be recast. We're going to have a new Harry Potter, a new Ron Weasley and a new Hermione Granger, a new Draco, a new Snape. It's just part of the evolution process of the Potter franchise. And then there's the small fact that there is a TV series confirmed it's happening, you don't have to get on board with it if you don't want to, but it sure as hell is going ahead and we're going to see new actors take the mantle. So then I started thinking, well, who will play the new Harry Potter? Who's good enough to put on the Hogwarts uniform, the glasses, the wand? So for today's video, I'm going to recast five characters. I think doing five cast members per video will be enough and we can get through the whole cast over a series of casting videos. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So let's just kick it off with the main man himself, who is going to play Harry Potter. Well, the truth is, we don't know. But in my opinion, there is one young British actor that stood out to me. Before today's video continues, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. I have worked with Skillshare many times and I'm super excited to have the opportunity to discuss the learning platform once again with you all. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. With Skillshare, you don't have to buy into the idea that work is everything or one size fits all. As a content creator, I am always trying to improve and diversify the ways I deliver my content. You may have noticed that I've been getting behind the camera a lot more and that is quite a different dynamic to what I've always done, which is off-camera narrative work. When I discovered Nathaniel Drew's class entitled Creativity Unleashed, Discover, Hone and Share Your Voice Online, it really helped me find the confidence to get in front of the camera in order to freshen my channel up. Class 3. Addressing insecurities spoke to me the loudest in terms of identifying what was holding me back and when I got to lesson 8 on staying consistent, well you can check my channel for yourself, I have never been so consistent right now than I have been in the past 5 years. I've uploaded almost every single day. That's how Skillshare has helped me and the beauty of this learning platform is that it can help you. If you have a goal in mind or a skill that you want to learn and project into a career, the tools are in front of you. Ask yourself, if not now, then when? There's never a perfect time, but there is the perfect platform. Join Skillshare today and embrace your creativity. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Don't hold off perfecting your hidden skill any longer. Click the link in the comment section below or the pinned comment. Join Skillshare today and feel free to contact me to let me know what class you're taking or pop it in the comment section under this video. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. That seems to have good charisma and that is a young man who goes by the name of Archie Yates. Archie is a little older than Daniel when he started being 14 years old, but so was Tom Felton when he played Draco, but the actor still retains quite a youthful appearance and already has the glasses so it might save a couple of dollars or galleons on the Potter specs. Archie for his age has a wealth of experience behind him already. He starred in Home Sweet Home Alone and Jojo Rabbit of which he received critical acclaim. He doesn't have the green eyes but I'm sure today's technology can amend that without the trouble Daniel had with the contacts. I know it's always going to come back to, well, it's not Daniel. But the truth of the matter is, guys, it's never going to be Daniel again. The quicker everyone realizes that, the better. I think Archie would be a brilliant fit to play Harry. In fact, he was the first name that popped into my head the minute I knew the series was confirmed. I said, Archie Yates, definitely. The only con that I have about Archie is that he's a known name, a known actor. For the original movies, J.K. Rowling wanted three unknowns cast to play the trio, so who knows if Archie's current fame will hamper him getting the role. 
Anyway guys, my choice for Harry Potter is Archie Yates. Now guys, of course, there's no Harry Potter without Ron Weasley, is there? Rupert Grint was fantastic playing Ron, even if it wasn't exactly book accurate, which is highlighted quite a lot, but in his defense, it's the direction and dialogue he was given. It wasn't him saying, well, I think I'll not be the Ron from the book. He was just following what he was told to do, and I still think he is very likable throughout all of the movies. So the question remains, who's going to take on the role of Harry's best friend, Ron Weasley? Well guys, my choice for that role would be a young man by the name of Freddy Spry. Probably not as recognisable as a name as Archie Yates, Freddy actually portrayed a young Prince Harry in the 2021 movie, Spencer. He was pretty good taking on the part of Harry, especially as it was his debut in a lead role and a movie too. I think he has that slim, sleek face that Ron has and would be the perfect Ron if you ask me. I hope he's considered for the role but it does remain to be seen if he'll even be in the running but my thoughts are with JK Rowling obviously being British and of course knowing about this reboot for a long time, she just may have watched the Spencer movie and taken notice to him. What do you all think about Freddy? Do you think he'd make a good Ron? Let me know down below. Now next up we have the brightest witch in her year, Hermione Granger. Now to be honest guys, this was really difficult for me to find the right person that I feel would be suitable for the role. I know I sound like I'm a qualified and experienced casting director here, but I can assure you I am most certainly not. So initially I thought young actress Leah Jeffrey would be a great fit for Hermione, but then it quickly hit me that she's already part of the Percy Jackson trio. So, you know, I didn't really think it made too much sense then. So I had a look and an actress that really stands out to me is a young lady called Bronze Carmichael. Now the British actress does have some decent experience behind her, starring in the live action Winnie the Pooh remake Christopher Robin back in 2018. Bronze is 14, so a little older than Emma was when she took the role initially, but with that being said, she still does retain that youthful look, so she can still pull off the role. It's not unusual to cast actors slightly older than the role, like Sonny from Greece, if you've ever seen that movie. The actor who played him was 31 years of age and he was playing a 17 year old. Crazy or what? But anyway guys, my choice for Hermione Granger would be Bronze Carmichael. So let's continue the video guys, I'm going to do two more actors. As I said, I would cover five for the recasting. So we will do a little casting series until we complete the entire cast. So next up we have Lucius Malfoy, who I think we can agree was excellently played by Jason Isaacs. Many of his co-stars on set highlighted how quickly Jason went from the nicest, sweetest man in the world straight to the cruel, cold, aristocratic Lucius Malfoy, which was scary to behold, but also an incredible display of acting skill. Now I've already said in a previous video, it was always going to be difficult to replace actors that made the role so synonymous with the characters from the book, but life goes on, we all move on, the movies are done, and the TV show is the future of the franchise, and that means new actors will play the roles, and Lucius Malfoy in particular is the man in question for this part of the video. So who is going to play Draco's father? Well, the guy who played Draco himself. Tom Felton is certainly my choice. It kind of seems fitting that he take on the role as Lucius, as he's no closer to the age of Lucius himself, and it also gives him a new perspective on acting a new part in the franchise he was once part of. He's my first and only choice really, even Tom himself said he'd be open to a return and loves the franchise so much that he'd just be happy to be an extra in the background, but somehow I think he could get far more than that if he puts himself in the running for the character. Tom is a fantastic actor in general, so let's hope he'll have a part to play. So guys, our final recasting for today's video is the man himself, Severus Snape, the potions professor, the anti-hero, the man who was on Harry's side all along, the man who has such a massive character dynamic, someone that I mentioned in my last video who I feel would be a great recast for the role is of course Adam Driver and no, it's not because he's got the Snape hair, Adam is a fantastic actor and has an ability similar to Alan Rickman of maintaining that straight face look, the emotionless look, like he's not phased by anything and that's what stands out for me with Adam. Now of course the only con is that he's not British and I do know JK Rowling was dead set on having an all British cast for the original movies and that just might be the same case for the new TV series. 
Adam obviously is a massive, massive Hollywood star, taking on numerous roles that make him a household name, so it's a big discussion on if he'd even be open to taking the role if he was offered it in the first place. Now, let's just throw a curveball in there. I also believe Jonathan Rhys Myers would make a great Snape. He has an amazing on-screen presence and is really able to capture the darkness in a character, something he could do quite well with Snape. But guys, this all remains to be seen. Hopefully, there's some new information on cast choices released pretty soon. I will most definitely keep you all updated on the situation. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on my casting choice down below in the comment section. And of course, make sure to look out for the next video because it just might be a little bit better than this one.